Hey guys, it's Sarah with 8541 Tactical and I'm here with Ross with Dark Angel. This is a company we haven't really reviewed before, so I'm going to let Ross talk about his company and uh, go over his new products for this year at SHOT Show. Ross. Hi everybody. Hey, my name is Ross Francis. I'm with Dark Angel Medical. I'm actually our chief instructor, so I handle all of the training courses. Uh, but today we're going to talk to you a little bit about uh, some of our history at Dark Angel and uh, also some of our new kits coming out for 2017 that have just gone uh, live on our website. So we started uh, back in 2011 with Kerry and Lynn Davis. Kerry uh, started this company. He was an Air Force flight paramedic and uh, he saw a need in the gun industry for people to have medical kits. Uh, there's kind of a saying that if you make holes, you should be able to patch them, etc. But in reality, people need medical training. They need to understand what's going to happen because it's far more likely that someone will get injured, trip and fall, uh, have you know an unfortunate negligent discharge, etc. on a range. They never actually have to use that gun. So we've really tried to fill that niche. Uh, as far as what we have going on new this year, all of our kits traditionally have come with your basic trauma care supplies, whether it's controlling bleeding, uh, stopping open chest wounds, keeping patients warm and dry, etc. And now we're really branching out into the adventure market, if you will, where we're looking at the people that like to go to the range, but also those people that go off-roading, right. that go backpacking, uh, and so, what we've basically done is we've taken our med kits and then added a little bit to them. To give you an example of that, one of our new products this year is called the ARC, or the Adventure and Recreation Kit. It comes as a vacuum sealed insert, just like all of our kits do. And again, all of our kits are pretty standardized with chest seals to stop open wounds in the chest, whether from gunshots, stabbings, etc. This actually has two emergency blankets in it, one to keep a patient warm and one for shelter, should someone need that. Pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, we've, uh, we've got the compression gauze in here, and then you have your choice of hemostatic gauze. You can either get the uh, quick clot bleeding control dressing or the Kaido gauze. Okay. Oh. So that's this insert. Along with this, you can get the accessory pack. Just unrolling on you. You are, you are, just rolling everything out there. <laughs> yeah. So, it, it's got 550 cord, paracord, and we keep the ends unburnt so that if you wanted to take the insides out and use them for okay. fishing line, etc., you can do that much easier. Okay. Yeah. It's got an extra SWAT T tourniquet because these are incredibly multifunctional, not just as tourniquets, but can be used for all kinds of things. Okay. Great. Okay. Got a magnesium fire starter. Okay. Very important. Much better than a bow drill. <laughs> <laughs> And then we've got our uh, we've got our compass, okay, that also has a thermometer, a magnifying glass for starting fires, and a wind chill uh, guide. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you can know how cold and miserable you are. Because <laughs> that always makes things better. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then our signal mirror. Okay. Yeah. So again, this is the accessory pack that comes uh, in addition to the arc. All right. Yeah. Okay. So along with that, I'll actually put these back in here real quick. In there. Thank you. Uh huh. In addition to that. So you've got this, uh, the insert here, the arc insert, along with the accessory kit, and those all come in the new arc pack. And so basically, we worked with Gray Ghost Gear to make this pack. Obviously, it's not tactical looking, it's just a small gray backpack. Uh, it's got a pouch in the back here for a three liter camelback or any other type of hydration bladder. It's got this main front pouch here. And what's actually pretty cool about this, the back pocket here uh, is a holster. So you can fit any full-size handgun in this holster just in this little pack right here. Along with that, on the bottom here, we've got a tourniquet. We've got space for one of these inserts and shears. Okay. On the inside, in the main pouch, We've got space for either magazines or other medical kit inserts, and plenty of space for extra gear, granola bars, etc. I noticed too that um, this is something that your company is kind of known for. You guys have 
they have the quick tab. Uh, ah, I'm stuck. They have the quick tab here where they can. Well, I'm going to do it real quickly here. That's fine. But <laughs> the quick tab so that you can pull it open should you need it. You know, very fast if someone's bleeding out. Um, I did like the idea that there was a, a, hand, a full size handgun compartment in here, something that you don't think about when you're backpacking. And make it definitely a good day pack. Uh, you're going out hiking, you have your, your water available, but you know, if someone twists an ankle or gets bit by a snake or something like that, you have the ability to treat them in the field. Mm -hmm. Exactly. This here is something very uh, unique because it's sterile, because it's sealed. But if this is opened, tell them what your company does. If you have to use this, tell them how, how you guys honor that. With any of our kits, whether it's the Adventure Kit, our Pocket Dark Mini, uh, the St. Mike's Bag, etc., any of our kits, if, you, if someone uses one of our products, uh, we just ask that they provide some type of documentation of that, whether it's a police report, maybe an ambulance report, a newspaper clipping, something that shows that they use this kit, and we will gladly replace it for free, right? all the components that were used. Good, good. And certainly we will re-vacuum seal any kits. So. <laughs> and what is the shelf life on these? So the shelf life really depends on the bleeding control dressing. Okay. So those typically are five to seven years. Okay. Um, from manufacturer's date to expiration date. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. And I, I know your goal is probably to never have to have anybody use these. Correct. But realistically, um, there is a need in our community for that. Definitely. Uh, well, thank you for your time today. You're welcome. I appreciate it. And if you guys need any uh, trauma medical supplies, Give these guys a look up on the web, Dark Angel Medical. Make sure you include that medical or you'll be taken to some uh, web TV series that you don't <laughs> want to go to. And thank you for your time. Thank you so much. So what's, what's kind of cool, this is what we consider our Gen 3 pouch. Ooh, we have um, a narrow nasopharyngeal in there? No. no, no, not in there. That's, that's your tourniquet. Okay. That's just a tourniquet. The NPA is actually vacuum sealed with the pack. Okay. Um, so we got the shears on the outside, tourniquet on the outside. So our newer pouches, let me get the slim real quick. So the differences between these kits, obviously the tourniquet went from the front to the side. Right. And then on the back, the older pouch has the snaps. Uh -huh. And this has the tuck under molly straps. Okay. This also has belt loops, so these can come off and can be mounted so it's horizontal oh, okay. or vertical. Okay. Yeah. Huh. So that one's a little bit narrower, this one's slimmer. Okay. So, a lot of people carry these on battle belts. I um, can see I, that. Yeah, I carry mine on my battle belt or just on my belt when I'm on the range. I can see that, yeah. Um, and we, this pouch is kind of universal. Our ouch pouch, which is our band-aids, hand sanitizer, uh -huh. etc., goes in this pouch. Our pocket mini goes in this pouch. I keep mine in my back pocket all the time. Gotcha. So yeah. this is great. Yeah. Well, well so. I mean, we have them in the cars. We have gloves, you know. Right. You just can't not stop. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so. And then you guys do training classes as well. Yes. Okay. So I, we train all over the country and we, so there are companies that are repeat hosts for us, uh -huh. but anyone can host us as okay. long as they give us a location, they set up audio visual for us. And basically what happens is one of the four of us that teach come, uh -huh. we have all of our medical training equipment, all the kits um, and the manuals get sent out to them, to the host, and then we just we teach the class. Okay. So it's over two days. And you go over what basic things? So it's, it's all basic trauma care. Okay. Um, everything from stopping massive extremity bleeding, Okay sealing chest wounds, okay. uh, inserting nasal airways, wound packing, okay. splinting and bandaging, open and closed fractures. Okay. And I mean, we literally talk everything from lacerations to eviscerations, amputations, blast injuries. Gotcha. So open and closed pneumothoraces, okay. everything. Okay. Um, also for medical providers, 16 hours of CEs. Oh, nice. Bye. Bye. I can handle some yeah, of that. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Keeps my CCR in up to date. Yes. Um, what uh, in your okay so you've taught all these people this stuff mm -hmm. two years goes by is there any type of tip card included in yeah actually we're the tac med tip cards there are some in here no they're not <laughs> i took them out <laughs> are they really no they're not <laughs>
Oh, I took them out. Let me get them. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Here, you, you both can have one of these. Okay. Um, so this is just, are you familiar with the, uh, the mnemonic March? No, I okay. can't say that I am. So March is a tactical combat casualty care thing. Massive hemorrhage, airway, respiratory, circulatory, head. Okay. That's the assessment process. Okay. So it's like doing ABCs. Yeah, like TNCC, but. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So for Dark Angel, we use HABCD, <laughs> H-A-B-C-D-E. So hemorrhage, airway, breathing, circulation, the brain, the and brain. then <laughs> E for expose. Yep. And, and environment. Yeah. And this basically just goes through that H A B C D E assessment. Okay. Okay. All right. So these are these are your little assessments. Yes, and those they, actually come with every kit. Okay, and then so. they do they like so if you're got it. Okay, you have a second chest wound. Mm -hmm. Here's how you make that seal. Do you have any of those kind of tip cards in there? No. Okay. Um, that just comes as part of the training. Now the students all get manuals, and all of that is in the manual. Okay. okay. So. I can, I can tell you how many nurses forget stuff. You know what I'm saying? For definitely. nursing school, yeah, right? Definitely. It's been two years since I've had a chest tube. I don't know what to do. Right. And, okay. <laughs> yep. well. So, and actually, here's a, here's a few extras. Okay. Too, so. Let's hand them out. Okay. Awesome. 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 Cool. So I'm like geeking out. Like, no, ah. yeah. Well, <laughs> just, just hit us. Hit me. Well, you kind of do, actually. You do. Yeah. I mean. But in the heat of the moment. Right. People are just <laughs> stuff goes you. flying. You know? <laughs> <laughs> More than I oh don't. I can't say it. He's filming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. More than that hits the van. Is that what right. you're saying? Yes. But yeah, I could totally see this as a day pack. A day hike yeah. pack. Do you guys have? Yeah. I was gonna say yeah, yeah. Snack belt. That's what oh, I like. Yeah, I, I'm I like those too. I'm a snack belt person. Yeah. In my big pack, that's like I put my arms on it and right. I got my beef jerky in there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like my snacks. Mm -hmm. Okay. These in my back pocket. Like, I'm done playing. Okay. It's like I don't care. <laughs> this is this is gold right here. This is film gold. <laughs> okay, I don't know about gold, but <laughs> maybe kind of an off bronze. <laughs> <laughs> maybe like yeah. <laughs> Pewter, that one. <laughs> Unpolished brass that's 20 years old. There we go. That Underwater. Works. Underwater. So. See, the thing is, like, when I brought her on the show, had her start doing stuff, they want to see me. Yeah, they. That's how that works. The bad thing is, is he never knows what's going to come out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I understand that. I have the ability to um, test the sensors. Okay. <laughs> so weight-wise, how much, this guy, how much weight are you adding with that? Like if I'm taking it backpacking, how much weight am I going to add with that? Granted, this, it's, is, gonna, this does fit in here, yes? It's however much that weighs. Okay. I, you know what? This is probably about nine-ish, maybe ten ounces. Okay. I certainly understand ounces equal pounds and pounds equal right, pain. Right, right. So just make him carry it. But, well, no, things like that is you take off the shears because you're already carrying a knife. Yeah. yeah no, I mean, certainly. Too, yeah. yeah. You know, just things like that. Right. And certainly, if you were going to put this stuff in a backpack, I mean, you could just put the insert in the backpack. Right. That's just exactly to, the know. tourniquet. And I have a tourniquet because he won't let me hike without one.